company with the Lion Dancer, the first three to break the line. Bay Birch in fourth as they head towards fence number one. Skipping on is held up towards the back of the field. And last of all is Cabiner's Corner, who's a little keen on the way down towards the start. It's been given time by Connor Schumacher to settle into the race. So a few travelling notably wide. Indeed, the whole field just moving towards the open ditch now as out in front Tower of Allen makes the descent first. Flanked by the Lion Dancer on the inside and Wood Pigeon on the outer as they reach the next fence. And again, Tower of Allen jumps to the left. Wood Pigeon was slightly inconvenienced and his rider's gone out the side door. Slight error himself, but certainly put off by the antics of the leader. And Wood Pigeon's rider is distraught. Dispenses his helmet, but uh, thankfully is perfectly okay. He walks away. Wood Pigeon is galloping on with the field as Tower of Allen leads them towards the next and again jumping markedly out to the left the whole field are doing that at the moment the lion dancer Kavner's corner is the one that's kept the truest line and as a result has made significant progress on that part of the race course in fourth place we have skipping on and then the bay birch so the loose horse leads the field into now the back straight and out in front it is tower of allen despite jumping to the left over the last couple Leads the Lion Dancer, skipping on smooth through to third now. Cavanagh's corner on the inside of the Bay Birch, and the whole field are very tightly grouped now as they reach the next fence down the back. And again, all over the shop, Cavanagh's corner has jumped in a straight line. The other four almost jumped off the race course between them. All three runners are down at the start at Doncaster. Yep, because the only one jumping in a straight line. So from last to first for Cavanagh's corner, takes it from skipping on. Tower of Allen right up against that far running rail. The Lion Dancer is also receiving reminders. And out in front, it's Kavanagh's Corner. Skipping on's the other one with the Bay Birch. They're still travelling pretty well, that trio. But uh, the Lion Dancer's going violently to the left. And eventually, he has indeed jumped off the course. I uh, hope we can find him OK. His rider's perfectly OK. Never left his feet. Jumped progressively left and has exited stage left. So, heading towards... Another plain one, Cavanagh's corner out in front from skipping on. Tower of Allen, despite the antics, is actually still in third place alongside the Bay Birch as we now move towards the open ditch at the foot of the hill. So Cavanagh's corner out in front for Connor Schumach. In second place is skipping on, who's made steady progress and is now within half a length of the leader. Two lengths back to the Bay Birch and then Tower of Allen as they take that fence, at which skipping on blunders and unseats the rider and Tower of Allen had to jump the prostrate jockey. The loose horse is still in there as well, so we've had a really exciting time, to be honest, and it may not be over yet. Cavanagh's Corner and the Bay Birch are the two that are left clear of Tower of Allen, and the Bay Birch in the striped colours on the outside of Cavanagh's Corner. Pleased to say Skipping On's rider has walked away perfectly OK, Patrick Cowley. But now towards the second last, and these two are a mile clear, Tower of Allen's about 40 lengths down. So it is the Bay Birch heading towards two from the finish for Stan Shepard on the outside of Cavanagh's Corner and has gone a couple of lengths clear here and Cavanagh's Corner is being ridden. Tower of Allen is just approaching the second last. Meanwhile, the Bay Birch is forging clear on the run down towards our Tower of Allen's blundered and unseated the rider. Come, well, in fact, he's fallen, actually. He's come down as well. So we've only got two left. And the Bay Birch parted that at the last but has got to the other side safely. Cavanagh's Corner is over safely as well. His rider looks behind him. He'll see there's nothing left uh, still going. But out in front, it is the Bay Birch who sat out the back. And while others went left, right, and head over heels, the Bay Birch it is who went a straight line and wins for Stan and Matt Shepard, Tony Scrivens' colours. In second is Cavanagh's Corner, and the only two will complete.